Oh, and, and also, fun fact, he actually looks like his brother. <laughs> yeah, I met your so brother So I think before. that that's I where love, it's I like family. Yeah. Hey, what's up? My name is Rini. Hi, I'm Twee. Hi, Rini. <laughs> hey, how You are just you? got back from Australia. Oh my god, I feel like I'm doing my own yeah. TV show right now. Hey, it's your TV show. I'm just here. <laughs> you just got back from Australia. You were on tour with Black. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? Going on tour with Black was honestly one of the best experiences I've had so far this year. We went to New Zealand and then all the way around Australia. Guess what? I'm in Sydney. <laughs> Obviously, I was opening for him, so it was like, you know, different kind of crowd, but I had so much fun, really. Like, his, his team was super wonderful to us. He's also wonderful. Yeah, man, I feel like I made a new friend. Black's super cool. It must feel good to be back because, you know, the fans are showing up for you. But what was, like, your favorite moment on tour? It was definitely nice to see, you know, the old fans and stuff. But I think my favorite part of the tour is also, you know, getting to meet new fans. And, like, that. you know, like, finding out that, you know, these people that came to see Black also um, finding my music, like, you know, they're really, they really um, start to like follow me and yeah. like my music journey, Hell yeah. um, which is really cool. You know, I'm trying to build up the, the fan base everywhere, um, especially home in Australia, because I feel like I haven't done a lot of, you know, shows and like stuff like that mm -hmm. back home. Talk to me about Coachella. How was that? That's so much fun, dude. Freaking amazing, dude. Congrats. Thank you. I had the best time. Weekend one was so much fun. It's funny because when I got off stage, okay, there's so many things that were happening, mm. by the way. my I couldn't hear myself in my in-ears. Like, really? I, I couldn't hear myself, but I also didn't realize that the crowd couldn't hear me at times because my mic was cutting in and out. Oh, damn. Well, it's like but, festivals, right? Yeah, it's but then just... for me, I'm like, okay, I got to just get through this. Jesus, take the wheel. Hopefully, I sound okay. I was you just, killed it. I saw the video. I didn't know that they couldn't hear me right so i remember i was doing playing tricks and then at one point i was going like this and then mm -hmm. everybody started screaming i was like did i do something cool but then i watched a video later right. and it turns out they could actually finally hear my voice so it kept cutting in and out thankfully i didn't know that so i don't feel like that had an yeah, effect on my right, performance because right. i had so much fun i hopped off the stage and that's, i was like wow that was like that's what matters right you know what i mean you so have like fun. the top yeah list of favorite performances right. Coachella weekend yeah. one was definitely on there but yeah it was honestly such a cool experience I got to go watch a bunch of different oh. acts Ice Spice was so good Jeez. um I have a new love for Atarashi Gakko they're a Japanese the Japanese band yeah I, they're so amazing bro the way live? and they dance too they're crazy no they're, they're like an in, act yeah they are one of a kind That's like insane. they are so incredible and I'm I just like I was the entire time I was wow. screaming up and down and I don't jump up and down for a lot of people because I'm lazy like I'm a lazy <laughs> festival goer like I'll just like sit there and like enjoy I mean, the music I'm the same. I'm, but they had me hyped it was That's so good crazy. were I you was... nervous at all like when you the first week or when you did your first uh obviously like appearance like how was that like... I don't get nervous until right before I get on stage right it's like when you go on a roller coaster right mm. you get to the top you can't get off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You gotta go. There, the yeah. music is starting. That's the perfect. The, the cues yeah, are starting. Like different. you can't just miss your cue. Like you, you might miss it by a second because you're like, oh, maybe not. Yeah. But like you gotta just go. You know. And and once you get into that mode, then it's like there's yeah, no turning old. back. Yeah. I mean, so gets, I was definitely nervous. Do you have like any rituals before? Because obviously they like you know when I was on tour too, I was I was like every time. Before I go on stage, I'd like do push ups and you like, do? You know, like, yeah, like I'd just be like, <laughs> You're like I'm do my shadow boxing stuff, trying to get my body warmed up. Yeah, like, yeah. I, yeah, I do get nervous as well. Yeah. And like, you know, your tummy aches and yeah. stuff like that. Like, what do you do for like your performances? I feel like, yes, I stretch and like all of that. I like to laugh a lot. Before you I laugh? Yes. That's so, so like that's I interesting. I, I want that. people around me that are going that are going to make me laugh and not think about the fact that I'm nervous. That's so And good. I feel like right before that's the best, you know, like right. to have like just that moment with your team right. where you're just like laughing just about great anything. Vibes. Just yeah. good vibes. Yeah. Because then once you get on stage, it's like, oh, you were just laughing. It's like there's no time in between right. to be wow. scared or nervous, you know? I love that. I need yeah. to yeah, dude. I'm I'm learning from you. 
stop. Yeah, that's an amazing way to like just you know set the energy of, yeah. of the stage. Yeah. Because like sometimes for me like, you know, I do all that stuff backstage, and then you get on um on the stage, and it's like you know sometimes the crowd don't respond the way you expect them to. Yeah. So it kind of like brings your energy down a little bit. For so sure. So kind of like you know what. Maybe like if you had your team in the back, like yeah. hyping you up and stuff. Yeah, like, that's that's so good. Especially like when you're opening up for another artist too. Yeah. I totally yeah. get it because you know I opened up for LMA, right? And there were a lot of shows where I definitely felt like they hate me. <laughs> <laughs> they they don't. I feel like it's no, just, but they're just like they're just like yeah analyzing because exactly they're trying to like okay, who are you? Like okay, yeah. this song is cool. You know what I mean? Um, and definitely by the end, a lot of the shows, like I would see people like give me props you know right right um but it was really important because the first couple shows like I was so nervous because I was like I don't know why I'm on this like mm. I, I definitely had a lot of imposter syndrome and my team it was so important that I had my team right. being like no twee she chose you for a reason you're exactly. here for a reason we're we got your back 100% and it made me feel so good going up going up on that stage because I was like yeah I'm here you know what I mean like I'm gonna do what I do, but if I mess up, I know that my my team got, has my back. Yeah, and we God. Your team is just my team is the best. Wonderful, honestly, they're like, the it's, best. But yours is too. Thank you. Yeah, they are. They, they are. are amazing, honestly. Like, where will we be without our teams? You know, weren't you in Australia? I was in Australia. How I had was the, that? I had the best time. Yeah. Honestly, Australia felt like a vacation for me, and I just came back just feeling like refreshed. I was tired. Because the flight is, why is the flight, flight so long? Flight is so crazy. Why is the flight so long? <laughs> but I was trying to sleep as much as I could on the plane. But I honestly just came home and I was just like, wow, I miss Australia so much. And the coffee is so good. Oh, I told you. Literally yeah, every just... day we got like three cups of coffee and everywhere was good. Wow. Like, remember how you told me you're like, you can go to a 7-Eleven yeah. and, it's, and it's good. And you tried it? You tried I, I didn't go to the 7-Eleven. Ah, you got to try the I did, I did go to a a cryotherapy place mm -hmm. after I did yoga and literally just in the reception they made a fire cup of coffee yeah or latte honestly it was... it's like a different I don't know something about their beans out there but I think just... you guys just have a pride yeah. for like coffee yeah. and Quality. being like the country that is just has the best coffee yeah so I feel like at birth maybe people are just like yeah that's yeah. like what I'm proud of definitely um but you brought beans back I definitely for us. Yeah, for yeah, we texted you and we were like please <laughs> Please bring us back Australian beans. Dude, you know what's funny, though? I actually didn't. So when Charlie messaged me about that place to get beans from, I was like, oh, okay, well, um, maybe there's some other places I can get them. Because I was, like, asking. I was like, oh, which ones do you want? Like, do you have any particular beans that you want to get? Because there's so <laughs> many, like, in Melbourne. Um, and the one he sent me was actually, I found out that was the best coffee brewery it, in, in so Australia. Bad. Oh, it's so good. Mark. We had a whole food day in Melbourne. We literally Damn. woke up, had pho, then we went next door and we had Hainan chicken. Then we God. went down the street and we got gelato. And then we walked That's to so go good. get a pandan waffle. And then we went to go get a coffee. Honestly, I just love food. But anyways, let's talk about the more <laughs> important things. You just released a single called Miracle. Yes, I did. And your fans are loving yes, it. Yeah. Tell us about the song, how it came about. Yeah, thank you, first of all. Miracle came out. Actually, I had no clue it was going to come out. What? Because I literally landed probably like an hour before this, the song was coming out. Yeah. No, maybe like two hours. But like, obviously, like I, I had to go through security. Yeah. And, you know, by the time I got out of the airport, I was in my Uber. I was like trying to post about the uh, the song. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's coming out tomorrow. And this was like at like 7.45 yeah. p.m. Not knowing that. You know, 12 a.m. Right, is like, right, right. Your concept of time was yeah, all. Yeah, I was like, oh all man, like, you know, I gotta, I gotta promote this stuff. So, yeah, I got back to my crib. I, I haven't even unpacked yet. And then Larissa texted me like, oh, congratulations, your, your song is out. And I was like, Aww. what? It's out. <laughs> so I was like, I rushed to my laptop, like, you know, did all the stuff that I had to like do to promote it, and just like, you know, said some nice words so, like the people that are like, you know, involved in the song. Yeah. Super, super grateful. Uh, shout out to Malay and Travis. Um, Malay's the producer who mm -hmm. worked on Miracle with me. And Travis, obviously, he's, he's a super talented writer from New York. We made Miracle from our very first session uh, here in LA. And it's like a song about basically letting somebody go, you know, mm. because 
it's just not working out and it's like sometimes you know like you can't force things you just have to kind of you know let go yeah if you love it you let it go it comes back then it's meant to be mm -hmm. so you release a single that means something's coming yeah project is coming oh yeah definitely i mean right now it's like i'm on my mysterious face <laughs> i'm not trying to like reveal everything yet but I'm de I've definitely been working on, yeah, yeah, on yeah. a project. Um, I've heard some stuff. Yeah. I, Sounds I amazing. I've, I've played just so shit. Sounds amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I feel like you're in your fun era. Yeah. You know, um, like you're just like. Switching it up a little yeah, bit. And yeah. And I feel like it's really cool to hear too Thank because you. your fans are going to love to like see that side of you where it's like, yes, I can make sultry, soulful mm -hmm. R&B music, but I can also have fun. I love that. And like pop. R&B. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? They, 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 I don't yeah, know, you guys have a lot to look forward to. Yeah, we got a surprise for them. But yeah, how about, how about your new single? Um, Hair Down. Hair yes. Down. Hair Down I'm is... I'm loving the hair, by the way. Oh, thank Sorry. you so much. Hair Down was... Yeah, how did that come about? Well, I've, I've been in the studio kind of like working on a bunch of songs because I'm working on a project. Let's hopefully. go. It's just so hard, you know, because I like, I don't want to put pressure on it, but I also yeah. want to hold myself accountable. Sure. So I'm like, okay, yes, a project is coming. But I don't know when. Right. But soon. Soon, yeah. Something is leading up to something. And so we made a couple songs, and then I had the session with Bijan. Mm -hmm. And um, he played a couple beats, and then he played that one. And then Charlie was like, oh, this is like a fun, like, summer vibe. Because at first I was like, oh, I don't know, like, drum and bass. Like, I wasn't sure it's, if I was going to be able like to slide new, on it. It was like a new um, space for yeah, you to, like, explore. Yeah, exactly. But. So then when he said that, it unlocked something in me. And I was like, okay, pull it up. Let me go do a vocal pass right. real quick. And literally the first vocal pass, we we're like, oh, shit. Okay? <laughs> I was like, wait, this is fire. The song is honestly just like really true to who I am because right. it's like, yes, it's a summertime bop, but at the same time, it really has meaning to it. Because mm -hmm. I feel like all my songs have some type of meaning, mm -hmm. like a deeper meaning yeah. to it. And for me, letting my hair down was like, yes, I'm like going through so much change in my life right now, but I don't want to like let my anxiety get the best of me and right. I just want to like let loose and have fun I love that so yeah the song just feels like a sunset drive right. vibe not like a late night drive mm -hmm. but it's like a sunset let your hair down yeah down with your girlfriend confidence your yeah. dog I yeah. love the video the oh video, my so, god so the video oh my god I'm so so grateful to Max who was the producer on it and also Amber uh, Amber Park is like this amazing creative director and you know she helped a lot with she and Max helped with my Coachella production right and it was really cool because we were able to get a bunch of dogs from uh, Giselle's legacy right. to be like in the music video and they're all adoptable dogs and it just like meant a lot to me because like for me right like letting my hair down means like being able to be free, being able to just like not think about anything. And I was like, what makes me feel that way? Mm -hmm. This is kind of crazy, but when I'm with my dog, I just feel like you feel free. I'm who I am are, yeah. at my core, you know? Nobody's judging you. No, exactly. No, I mean, he probably not. judges me. He's like, <laughs> girl, you need therapy. But like, but okay. I was like, okay, I want to incorporate like right. that element into my music video. It was just fun, you know? Right. Like, my co-stars were dogs. Like, how can you not have yeah, fun? Yeah, I mean, you're like, you're mad talented. Stop, you are too. Stage presence. Like, I've seen you perform live. Thank you're amazing. You. you sound amazing. Stop. I see you on your content game. You're killing it. <sighs> I'm but, trying, like, how do you, man. How Honestly. do you feel creating this content? Are you, like, is it fun? Is it refreshing? Is it, like, how I do you feel? Definitely, I'm kind of still getting used to it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like, the whole... Uh, TikTok and like you know IG reels and stuff like that I never I, I'm not like a big social media person um you know you won't always see me like going live or like talking on my camera because mm -hmm. I'm I'm just I just feel personally like I'm like I feel awkward doing that stuff, I feel you you know but yeah. um I don't have anything against it and like I I applaud people who are like really good at that but I'm just like personally I wish I had that you know type of personality but I think I'm getting better. I'm trying to push like myself out of, you know, my comfort zone, yeah. obviously. And obviously with like today's way of, you know, consuming so, yeah, consuming like, music, yeah. it's like you got you just got to keep up. Otherwise, you know, no one's ever going to hear that stuff. Yeah. Back in 2016 when I first started like putting out stuff, I was kind of just like you know, I'll just put let it out it on do. YouTube, yeah, and yeah. let it do whatever. Like yeah. there's no fast-paced like 
content like content you know what mm -hmm. I mean? but now it's like she you gotta come out with like you know just like a lot of creative ways to promote mm -hmm. your stuff and that's the yes. i think that's the draining part for me because like i'm already I already did the music. I already like, you know what I mean? Like you, you go do the shows, but then you got to create this content. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Speaking of like, yeah, like content. Your song freaking... Um, My Rita. That shit went crazy, man. That shit went crazy. How dude. was that? How did, uh, how did that happen? I, I don't know. know. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's one of those things, right? It's like I released that song two years ago. When it That's came out, crazy. like when I made it, I was like, I know this is a hit. Mm. And it I is. knew instantly, but it didn't, it didn't, it had its little moment. Um, but I think the reason why it went so, so viral is because I never let it lose its steam. I was like, I was so adamant on the fact that it was a hit, that I was going to do everything that I possibly could. Mm -hmm. And I did so much for it to then... I feel like then the universe kind of carried it right. for me. I don't know. Like, because I, I didn't come up with that dance. Right. There was like two different viral dances. Is that what, what blew up the song? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. And Shout like, out to those how, creators. Yeah. How far from the release was it when? A year and a half. Really? Damn, yes. that's insane. But it didn't feel like a year and a half because I was promoting You're it still for promoting, so long. Yeah, that's... I was doing like over a hundred videos on one song, right? And none of it was working. But I was like, no, I believe in it. And Dude. then all of a sudden, 101. I don't know if wow. it was 101, but like this is just me. No, that's know. amazing to me because like I, I'm, I'm kind of like the opposite. Like I said before, I'm not like big content guy. And it's mm -hmm. like, you know, if... Yeah, I like I got I get discouraged like when it's like oh no nah, it's, it's not working screw that we'll just try some something else or like put out new music or whatever but that's crazy. I'm gonna text a you year. every day and be like, where is the TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I won't do that. But like I'm telling you, if you believe in it, somebody out there will also believe in it. Mm. And if that person believes in it, I'm sure there is like hundred other people that have the same music taste right. that will like it and try wow. different parts of the song too for me like I was so like fixed on this one part of the song then one of the comments was like oh I love this part and I was like wait try that part went yeah. viral wow. you know so listen to like what people are saying right. too like yes as artists we're just like we we feel like we know everything right yeah. that our music has to give but sometimes you just have to like look at the comments and the answers are right in front of you or it's your team, you know? That's insane. You're it's, killing it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you're you. killing Appreciate it. it. You know, you're like literally family to me. And I don't know if people know yeah. that, but like really we're like super cool. No. Tweet is it like... It's so funny when it's like you're trying to like convince people that you're friends. You're like, we're really cool. I promise. <laughs> we're family. No, but for real, like Tweet is like one of the first artists ever since I moved to L.A., that have been like you know a friend to me and you know she's I know, I feel kept like we, in touch ever since. I feel since. like we clicked like right from the yeah. start. How like, did we even? How? Like, I don't know how that, about that. I don't like, know how that session came about. Neither do I. I, I kind of just like. Do we know like... how that session came about? On Larissa, <laughs> should we call Bobby? I, I messaged Bobby and I was like, oh, love for you guys to work in your messaging. Because did I say I was like a fan of Rini? That's so sweet. Oh my days. Yeah. Yeah, and I pulled up. That night and literally wrote. We we did hit so just fast. Like that. I was like so fast. That was the easiest session. That I've was ever the easiest had. session, and it was honestly. so fun too. Yeah, and you killed that. I you believe. killed it, I, and and honestly, I felt like that energy really translated into the release of the song. Yeah, like people really loved it, you know. But and that's because like the energy was there. It exactly. felt it was so organic. And the song is beautiful. Yes. The video is even more beautiful. Oh yeah, the music like, video was so cool. Like you came and it was easy. Like. Rini's, we're just... Oh, thank you. Oh, thank and, you. and also, fun fact, he actually looks like my brother. <laughs> yeah, I met your so brother So I think before. that that's I where love, it's I like family. Yeah. How is he? He's great. Family's good? Family's good, that's dude. Good. That's good. Family's chilling. My parents yeah. came to Coachella. They had hella fun. They must be so proud of you. They're so oh proud. Oh my gosh, that's No, no, dude. After, after doing Coachella, I got on like so many Vietnamese news out, outlets, and I think that that for them was like, oh shit, my daughter is... You're a famous. freaking celebrity. And I was like, yeah. no. You should I hope, be proud. Honestly, be proud I want to go to Vietnam now because I feel like 
you should. Have you ever really cool. have you ever done a show in Vietnam? I have. Yeah, I did. A sh I did a showcase out there a couple years ago, and that was really fun. And they, I didn't expect them to know the lyrics, but they were. Right. They knew the lyrics, so I, I want to come back. You should do like headline. three, four different shows in Vietnam. That would be crazy. Stadium? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Shit. Like, <laughs> we'll manifest that though. <laughs> yeah. Stadium shows soon. Yeah. Soon. 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 Sorry. Can you give Moment. us an Australian um, slang? Give us an Australian. To be honest, I'm not really like, I'm not like super Australian, man. Like I'm. Oh my! Cut that. I'm part from Australia, out. but like. Cut that part out. <laughs> The Australians are gonna come. Breaking news: <laughs> Rini from Australia says he's not that Australian. I'm no, like in a way, like I can't do the accent. You're literally doing it right now. I can't do the accent. No. <laughs> oh wait, I don't think that was it. I feel like that was British. <laughs> Shout out mom and dad for having me. <laughs> Shout out nice. to all the Tweety Birds out there. Um, what you, what's your fan base called? The dogs. <laughs> the Rini <laughs> dogs. Really? My dogs, yeah. The no, I actually don't. I haven't, I haven't came, I haven't come up with one, but um, something to do with dogs, because I love dogs. Those okay. Are my dogs, you feel me? Shout out to my dogs out there. Yeah. It's your boy Rini Dog. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs>